Hello everyone and welcome back to X-Plane 12 where I continue to test planes that I had in X-Plane 11 to see if they work in X-Plane 12 and I will be getting to the Flight Factor 757 to see whether that works out but first I need to update you on the FlyJ Sim 727 which in a previous video I found did not have its controls working properly and it turns out a comment had mentioned that the problem was that I had the throttle lever all the way down and apparently that kills the control surfaces. So right now they are working on the FlyJ Sim 727. You can see the rudder going and the aileron, well, uh, the roll control that it has. It's not exactly an aileron, it's those uh, differential air braking. But anyway, uh, so they do work and we will do a quick flight test of the FlyJ Sim 727 to make sure that it all works properly. But basically you don't want to start the throttle lever too far down otherwise uh, it kills the controls. And as far as I can tell that is a bug uh, because, well, it, well, regardless of whether, of course if you have complete lack of engine power that will kill things. Uh, that will cause systems to fail. But it's never supposed to go that low in the first place and second of all, if that happens with one plane, it shouldn't affect other planes. And what I found was with the 727, if it did cause the control surfaces to fail, then when I loaded another plane, it also had control system problems. So that's not supposed to happen. But anyway, let's take off with this and see how it goes. And we should have some flaps actually. Now, interestingly, it by default has the trim way up. And the trim is actually the overall movement of the horizontal stabilizer, so it's very, very heavily trimmed right now. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to be. Okay, well, anyway, with all that trim, it's rather easy to take off. And off we go. Lots of rattling side, very nice sounds in here. Uh, we do have the other features of the 727 here, like it shows V1, VR, V2 over there, and all the details. I, I really sort of find that nice. And also the weight and balance stuff over here. And it's got the options here, including if you want to adjust the sound there, and a whole bunch of other things and the airframe and engines and such so yep I mean it mostly seems to be working all right though of course we can only really tell if we fly it for quite a while because it's supposed to have you know failures we should test the failures and all that business and uh, here actually I turned down the exterior sound for a bit all right, so I can talk over it. So I do have the orthophotos for California here, and so we're flying out of San Francisco, and you can see uh, it looking better than stock probably would. So I do recommend that if you are unhappy with the scenery, either in X-Plane 11 or X-Plane 12, to get the orthophotos for the areas you're interested in. I already had them substantial blocks of them so fortunately with X-Plane 12 you can just uh, add them in through a uh, link a shortcut to the existing folder in the custom scenery folder so I just have a bunch of shortcuts right now I do primarily want to get to the flight factor 757 which I did not check out before and, which is a little bit complicated as far as how to get it working. In the case of the 727, you just have to make sure to have your throttle up initially. And not all the way up, but at least past, let's like, say, 20% or 25%. And just installing it normally works. With the Flight Factor 757, there's, you have to make sure to use the updater and go with uh, beta update. Yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one. We're going to try and descend. And I think we'll land at San Jose. So very, very, very short flight. 
but this was the number one plane that I wanted to keep flying. So it's nice to have it here. It's pitching up for a lot, even though I've trimmed down, which is interesting. I would say that there might be some trim problems. I mean, right now we're, we've trimmed down quite a lot and it still wants to pitch up a bit, but it might just be balance. That is a serious sound for the air brakes. Well, the air brakes are out. But yeah, the air brakes sure produce a rumble in here. Yeah, I can't actually trim down any further than I've already trimmed down. And really the only thing keeping us going down is the fact that I have the air brakes up. <laughs> so, I don't think I can throttle down any further because I might lose controls. So, right now we still have controls, thankfully. Well, there's San Jose International right there. The Autogen variety could do with some work, because uh, even from this side, I see duplicate buildings all over the place. I mean, you, you can see them down there in San Jose. There are a lot of duplicate buildings. But uh, there might be Autogen packs that can help solve that, I don't know. Okay, well... I think I've lost some controls though. At some point during our attempt to land, I have lost our roll control is minimal. Our elevators, if you look how it is when I pitch down, it's not pitching down much and I'm trying to yaw here, the rudder's gone. So yeah, it's a little bit hard to land when, um, when you can't throw all down much <laughs> without losing your controls. I'm gonna try to land here, but I can't even raise the flaps right now. So, yeah, we've lost that too. And, yeah, my control is severely curtailed. So yeah, it's gonna need it's gonna need some work this one. It's it's flyable but not super well. I basically have to use the throttle to control my vertical speed to a large degree. I have flaps. I can't change the flaps right now. I tried changing the flaps. Whoop. Okay, well, under the circumstances, that wasn't too bad. I don't have any control over the rudder, so I'm veering off to the right here without any ability to stop that. Um, I, I don't know what wheel... I, I should have some wheel control, but I don't seem to right now. Okay, so yeah. Uh, thanks for the tip, uh, whoever gave it as far as the throttle thing was concerned, but it's still a little bit iffy still a little bit iffy but I would really like to fly it properly and you know at least we landed there's that all right let me try the flight factor 757 now so what you'll see here is there is an x-plane 11 757 and there's an x-plane 12 757 and what happened is that when you install it uh, you need to update it and when you update it, you need to make sure the updater is in the folder, in the 757 folder, and it is called xupdaterclient.jar. So it's a Java file. Make sure 
I, I don't know. I think you need Java. So I have Java installed anyway. So anyway, so it's x dash updater dash client dot jar. And then when you open it up right at the top, it'll have an option for beta. And you need to check mark that and opt into the beta. And that's the only way you're going to get the explain 12 option here. So that's just by way of explaining how to install the update. Otherwise, if you just do the 757 install normally, it's not going to work. And so, yeah, we are going to, let's just start from here, San Jose. XSJC. And we'll still have with engines running. I'm not going through the entire startup procedure. We're just verifying that it works. Okay, and it will give you this dialog to choose your engines, the winglets, and whether to show this dialog again, and I'll just let it be. And of course, this is after you have uh, activated it per the normal thing and entered your key and everything. So, uh, what we have here is... Well, it's a little bit choppy right now. But the panel looks good up there. clickable things. Uh, oh, you can't see my cursor, but I'm moving my cursor above the buttons and they are reading as clickable. Flush seats per normal. Everything looks good. There's the pad. The pad has these options here. Operations, ground operations, the whole business. About 50 passengers can change that. Um, that seems to be changing the location of them with regard to the CG. Let's say we have a hundred passengers. Okay, so it can do that. All right. Pounds. So let's see, 120. Yes, it changes the weight. Okay, so well, I find we don't have 120. And then I haven't checked the fuel truck and all that business. Let me see. Yeah, well, this is all. I just want to check whether it flies. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff that could be checked out, that's for sure. Metric weights. Um, there's a full featured sort of thing. The sound options. Failures. No failures right now, but I. I uh, no. I, I'm not gonna create a new scenario. Let's just no, no, no. I don't want a random failure immediately. No. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Error. Page scenario. Attempt to index up values. Scenario. A nil value. I've killed it. No. Hopefully this will be. Uh, okay, if I up, just load the thing again. Yeah, start a new flight. Ignore everything I did with the pad, please. So close. I shouldn't fiddle around with things. No! The pad's not even... Oh my god, what have I done? Okay, well, it's giving me this dialogue again. Maybe that'll help. Please set everything to default. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna touch the pad. The pad's there, but we won't mess with it. Okay, so let's take a look outside. I've got my favorite TWA livery for the 757. I had a model plane of this with this livery. I have just activated some flaps. Let me just do the rudder. Elevon. Uh, oh, well, elevator. Okay, ailerons look good. Get some more flaps. Okay, well, I'm convinced that they're dropping. And it looks good from outside. Okay. Well, here we go.
That is a familiar sound. Let's check the autopilot situation. I like how the little numbers sort of flick a little bit. Let's see, 131. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, it's auto throttling. Such sound, really nice sound. That's a rumble and a half. And uh, maybe I'll try to fly this to LA. Well, that's Monterey Bay to the right of us. Okay, we have reached 31,000 feet, our cruising altitude, and it seems to be stabilizing at that. Looking good. Whoa, we just got jostled sideways there. We do get wind gusts here in the next plane. Uh, okay, Mach 0.82. Basically is what our cruising speed is going to be. We're turning a little bit. We are right about here And continue to head down to LA Let's take a look outside Everything's better with photo scenery I must say it seems to vary the throttle quite a lot as we go along here. It has to adjust it constantly. Very interesting. It maybe overreacts a bit when it goes over the prescribed speed. Well, we are going to have to descend. So let's start working on that. Much quieter out here now that we're descending. Well, we're descending into LA, but this is a heck of a cloud cover we've got in front of us. We're at 11,000 feet right now. We'll hold at 11,000 feet. I think. Should be doing that. So that we can decelerate to below 250 knots. We're headed over the city and we'll come back around. Well, it doesn't look like the clouds are endless or anything. Okay, trying out the air brakes. The air brakes are doing air braking things. Seems good. We are over LA. And I think we've got the downtown area back there though, in the mist. Well, everything looks fine enough from the cockpit here at the moment. Okay, I think I've got to take it from the autopilot. Alright, I'm coming in a bit steeply here, but here we are. Take this taxiway, it's fine. I don't know why I'm looking down so much though. 
Boop. All right, we have landed. We didn't die. That's always a good sign. So there you have it. The Flight Factor 757 seems to be working fine as far as the general flying is concerned. I saw no problems with that at all. Uh, nothing to do with the trim or anything like that. Though, uh, yeah, apparently the pad caused me some issues, but just reloading the plane, not even reloading the sim, just reloading the plane worked fine for that. So, as I uh, move, move this off over here, Oh, we got a little bit of hop there. I am going to wrap it up and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.